Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 343. No, it's 434. Wow, I've been recording that much. Alright. <laughs> so anyway, uh, in today's episode, we got some news for you guys. And well, uh, nothing much in terms of what we have. Uh, more pre-order stuff from last week and stuff. Yeah, mostly rehashes of what we reported before. But anywho, let's not dilly-dally and let's hop right into it. So, first news is... Kotobukiya Sunset Shima available now for pre-order. Yay! So, if you guys have not seen this, this is really amazing. And, well, as you guys know, I really love this one. And I would really like to get this figure. But, oh boy, it's expensive. And um, you can also get it here at uh, Kot- Koto-, Kot-, Koto? Koto US? KotoUS.com. Uh, pre-order price is at $109.99. Let's just round it up to $110. And, oh, is it in stock or is it pre-order? Not sure, but yeah, um, still, this is amazing and it's up for pre-order. Uh, according to one of the MBS show's follower, uh, or one of the Patreons, uh, they mentioned that the order won't be out until six months later. I'm not 100% sure on that or how he got the info. I, I believe him because he's collected all of them, so yay. But there's a summarization of the, uh, what you call this, uh, figures. Princess Celestia's former student, Sansa Shima, who fell, fled Cantalot to pursue her own path, will be joining the Malaro Pony Wu Shoujo lineup. Yay. And this looks cool. And why does this zoom in features not great at all? Yeah, but, um, the back view. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Let's see. Yeah, here's the pony figures. And you know what? I like it. I would really like to get this one. But all in all, oh, too rich for my blood, too expensive. But would try to get, would try to get, would have to ask around. Maybe my local anime shop. But let's move on to the next topic. And <laughs> still we have to go to uh, Limited edition Twilight Sparkle available for pre-order. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a different variant from the one that was released before. Uh, same at Koto, U- Koto US. And this is just the same model, but with Twilight having sparkly hair. Um, if you see, yep, 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 sparkly stuff. Uh, sparkly mane, uh, skin tone is according to the uh, animated movie and stuff. But, oh, uh, pre order price is at a hundred dollars, so that's good, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so besides that, uh, let's see. Yes, they, they gave more info here. Uh, limited edition Twilight Sparkle from Koto began available for pre order on their official Koto US website. Uh, like the other figures, she's nine one hundred dollars with limited quantity. Okay, uh, they list. Her release at November 2020, so not nearly as far out as usual, probably due to the model already being done and in production. Hmm, makes sense. Uh, the base model is already there. Uh, they just need to change the molding for um, the material for the hair. That's all. So yeah, just reusing assets. Smart on them. And... Last news is, uh, two new ornaments revealed from Hallmark for 2020, Adorable Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. So, every year we get the uh, Hallmark ornaments and some of them were cool and some of them were questionable. Uh, let's see what um, EQD they set up because I did remember last year's ornament was, yeah, last year's ornament was not great. The target ornaments was not bad. Uh, this was Hallmark and so on. Yeah, but anyway, um, this one, their ornament is really cool. 
and let's see, uh, it's at 3.38 inches tall, so that's, that's something, and let's just see, uh, Hallmark is apparently making up for last year's ornament and years of recolors and re-release of their one we posted way back in the early days of the fandom. Uh, these two are their 2020 offering, which uh, each available via Amazon for $9 a pop. No pre-orders necessary, and the Pinkie Pie is adorable. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, let's just let's just take a look. See at the what Amazon store? Oh, not now. Huh. Oh, this one was oh cool. Ah uh, no, no, thank you. So let's see. Yeah, this this is these are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. Uh, if you want them, I, I guess you can get them. They're not that expensive. Uh, three options, uh, yeah. Still, uh, should try and get it if you are, uh, if you do have, <laughs> if you do celebrate the holidays and whatnot. Oh, that, that looks not bad. Yep, yeah, not bad at all. Okay, anywho, that is the news for this week. Um, a bit of a slow show this week. Uh, not much news in terms of, well, in the fandom. Uh, things are coming along smoothly. <clears throat> so, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is, what have I been doing for my week? Uh, nothing much really. Haven't been doing anything new or interesting. Uh, a lot of, uh, a bit of Magic the Gathering haha recently happened. Not going to bore you guys. Um, if you are interested in hearing what I have to say, check out the Get Watch Cast episode 11 that's coming out next week. Uh, a lot of crossover shenanigans and IP talk. A, a lot of things that we in this fandom already felt because uh, the My Little Pony fandom kind of de- deals with IPs and lot. From my point of view, actually, but I'm not really sure about the others. Uh, other than that, um, mm, nothing much. Just been doing work and whatnot. So yeah, um, kind of a boring week. This episode is going to be kind of short. That's rather disappointing. But anywho, um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at immaturegmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Please also do please subscribe and read us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the MB Show Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Torterra reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and also specials. Sometimes we like to review other things than ponies, and those things are cartoons, comic books, movies, and video games. So yeah, uh, do give us a follow there if you're interested in the, well, other show. If you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbsshow. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And also, a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous. Let me pull up the list. Alright, here you go. I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, my staff like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Roman Sando. I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.